Yo, Snapchat's empty beach. So I am the only thing right now that is processing all of this data I'm seeing. This beach, these lights, this sea. And so perhaps a bizarre theory is that um, <laughs> this, this concept that if, if, if no one else is consciously processing everything I'm seeing right now, does it actually exist if I'm not here? Okay, so before you switch to another video, I don't necessarily believe this, but just go along with me on this thought. It's, it's a thought experiment. Boom! Okay, so let's start with uh, neuroscience. So there's been a few studies that suggest that um, have shown that you can actually predict what people are thinking up to seven seconds before they're consciously aware of it. Okay, so quantum world. If you look up the double slit experiment, electrons can either be particles or waves, and they change their state based on the observation. And when you consider that all matter is essentially electrons, like, the, have you heard that story of like, you know, you, 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 there's a table in front of you and you like put your hand on it, 99% of that is empty space, yeah? You know our universe is contained of atoms, yeah? And like, uh, <laughs> You know, atoms are neutrons, uh, protons, and electrons, but most of that is empty space. Kind of meaning like everything I see around me right now is just energy, it's just electrons, it's all empty space, it's all artificial. It's just electrons whizzing around, it's energy processing. It's a bizarre idea of like a fractal universe. Um, I think I've talked about this before, the idea that like so things like Mandelbrot sets where it starts with a simple equation and then extrapolates out to complexity. Fractals are uh, kind of ev very evident in like our brain structure, our lung structure, uh, in plants, within like rivers and mountain ranges, and the solar system and universe itself. Okay, okay, <laughs> let's, let's now discuss the simulation theory. So if you look at our own species, we're maybe like 200 odd years into the modern age, and we're on that exponential curve. It's very likely with the pace of our own technology that within say, let's just be conservative and say like 100 years, we're going to be able to simulate universes, like full universes. The issue then is that if you look at the age of the universe, it's like 13 something billion years, there surely would have been other like civilizations that have done the same thing. The issue then is that it becomes a very probabilistic mathematical thing. It's like, you know, were, were we the, are we going to be the first to simulate universes or has someone done it before us? And if someone's done it before us, it means that like very likely we're in a simulation. And not just like the first simulation, but the simulation of the simulation of the simulation. I don't know, like I feel like if you combine simulation theory, uh, fractal kind of geometry mathematics with um, this whole like subconscious awareness and quantum observation, like where do you I think one of the greatest analogies I've read is um, like GTA, like Grand Theft Auto. If you've ever played any kind of first person character, obviously they're not, the world doesn't exist behind them, only in front. Of them. I mean, just like a fusion reactor, you want to put like a little bit of energy in but get more out. In a computational resource, you want to put a little bit of computation in, a finite amount, and get infinite amount back. When you're playing GTA on your PS4, obviously the, the PS4 has a finite amount of computational capacity. Um, so it's not computing everything behind you, it's only computing everything you're seeing on the screen right now. And that reasoning is very similar to like quantum observation. Uh, the, the, particle, the, the particle waveform only collapses when you observe it. And that's weird. On top of that, game systems tend to use a lot of like repeating fractal equations. Uh, for things like uh, mountain ranges and like clouds and, and oceans because they repeat that pattern over and over. I guess like it's a bit of a jump, the whole like uh, seven seconds awareness study where people like uh, you kind of predict what they're going to do subconsciously before they're consciously aware of it up to seven seconds. So perhaps that relates to the relativity of space time where the faster you go like towards the speed of light, the slower time actually seems to pass to you relatively. Now, if you're simulating universes, you could simulate the entirety of our, say, 14 billion year universe in the period of one second. And then we, the human species, could do the same fucking thing. Like, we could be like, let's just simulate a trillion uh, universes for the next second and see what happens. And, like, maybe that's how you reverse entropy. You just kind of, like, uh, just, <laughs> just simulate until the point where you can never reach the end. You can never reach when the heat death of the universe occurs. And no, no, to add some other ideas, this like random soup mix of ideas tonight. Um, <laughs> this concept that we are star stuff, like the carbon atoms within us were 14 stars that exploded. And the fact that the atoms that make up us are the atoms of the universe. I mean, there's this, this, this thing that's always said, like, we are the universe experiencing itself. We're not this separate entity. So I'm not sure why it happens, but like as a, as a human being, like as a, as a human species, it seems like we, we very much see ourselves as different to other animal species, but we also see ourselves as different to the universe itself. And so, and so now this, this brings up thoughts of like psychedelics, uh, things like acid, where they've already actually shown through MRI scans where you, you can see that melt. 
when I walk along this beach right now, I see myself as like, you know, I am me and this is a beach and it's separate. I'm walking on the beach. I am seeing the stuff around me. That is the ocean. But we all know through science that there is really no separation between our ego and everything around us. It's all atoms. You may have seen some of the recent MRI scans of people on uh, LSD on acid and it actually showed that uh, there was a dissolution of ego and self and environment. I've often had this theory that there is actually no individual self. Like when you think of like, you know, me, Nathan Waters, or you, whoever you're watching, uh, is your personality you or is it just inputs and outputs? I don't think free will exists. I think we're actually inputs and outputs and we're the, re we're the result of that. I mean, you, you can't talk to individual neurons in your brain and tell them what to do. Perhaps our identity and our own consciousness is actually an illusion. It's just a kind of like uh, emergent phenomena of the processing that occurs, much like AI. I mean, as belittling as it sounds, uh, humans have often been described as uh, computers, as meme machines. Our brains are processing units, and that's it. That's all we are. So as far as we know, we, our, our human brain is the most complicated and most sophisticated computer in the universe. Will that hold true? Who knows? So, uh, so anyway, some random thoughts, clearly. This is one of my more like uh, crazy uh, future videos. But um, yeah, I wish I could show you the moon right now. The clouds are epic.